Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to import MIDI and why you would want to do that. So you might want to import MIDI in order to facilitate an arrangement project or a remix project, or maybe just to study a song or a certain piece of music, or you might want to transfer it from another program where it was originally created. Here we can see what things are included in a MIDI file. Notes, the length of those notes, the velocity of those notes, pedal data, tempo, and time signature information, among a few other things, but these are the most important. So now we'll go into Soundtrap and see this process and how to do it. Soundtrap allows you to import MIDI files, either by simply dragging them into the project or by clicking Import File and choosing your MIDI file. So I found the MIDI file that I want that's stored on my computer. It's a pretty small file and it's a song called Wings and I'll say open and then it's going to import this file which includes multiple tracks. So that's another great thing about MIDI files is that you can have multiple tracks. So it looks like I have all these different brass tracks here and you can see in the region all of these MIDI notes that can be different across different instruments. Another thing you can notice is the tempo has changed from before I imported this. This MIDI file includes tempo and time signature information. So that's the process of importing it. It's as simple as finding that file and importing it. And at this point, you can start your project, or maybe the goal is to change the different instruments and revoice or reorchestrate what sounds are playing these particular notes. Or maybe it's to do a rearrangement where you change the order of certain sections. Or maybe you just want to learn more about the piece and how it was written and maybe some of the music theory behind it. So if you click on any of these regions, you can go and see all of those notes. You can also make changes to those notes, just like any other MIDI that you recorded directly in Soundtrap. You can always make changes to these notes as you see fit. So that's really it. That's how you import MIDI, and then that can start you on your way to doing a remix or arrangement project, or using your own creativity to find new ways to use MIDI.